TruePulse 200X and Face Profiler for Android training video for 2D blast designs. These instructions assume that an LTI TruePulse laser has been connected to an Android device and the Face Profiler app is already installed and licensed. Start the app and from the main screen, select the menu option in the upper right corner. Choose Face Profiler options to make changes to the settings. Enter an email address to use for sending reports and tap Save. From the main screen, tap New Job and enter a name. Choose your laser, enter values in any of the parameter settings needed, and tap Start. Descriptions for each profile may be recorded. Position yourself in front of the Drill Hole 1 location, and you are ready to shoot the toe for Profile 1. Aim at the spot where the face meets the floor and fire the laser. Since there is muck piled up at the bottom of this face, shoot the point where it meets the floor. When data is sent from the laser, the app will emit this sound and automatically advance to the Shoot to Crest screen. Aim to the crest, which is the point at the top of the face where it meets the bench above. Fire the laser, and a bench height value will be displayed at the top of the screen. Repeated shots to the crest area may be taken until this bench height value looks good. Tap Next to continue. An optional shot to the floor may be taken, or tap Next to continue. A scaled plot of the face is displayed, and profile details can now be shot in. Work your way up or down the face in a methodical manner, taking shots at regular intervals and wherever the aspect of the face changes. From the Profile screen, tap the Edit icon to enter a note or designate the next point as a seam top or bottom. Tap the R icon to reshoot any point on the profile. Tap the Delete icon to remove a point on the face. When finished and the profile looks good, tap the Calculate icon. If stemming at the top of the hole or muck at the bottom need to be accounted for, tap Adjust. Enter the stem depth by placing the cursor there and then tapping the corresponding depth on the profile. The value will display and can be updated by tapping again on the plot. To use this stem depth to adjust the calculated drill hole angle, tap the Adjust Angle checkbox. To adjust the calculated offset or setback, check the Adjust Offset box. Muck may be removed from the bottom of the face by placing the cursor in the toe height box and tapping the profile at the desired point. When the value looks good, check the Adjust Toe box to remove this material from the burden calculation. Tap Close. To check the burden in front of this hole, tap the Calculate button again and select Burden. You can choose to shoot in the drill hole location to generate the offset or simply type in the setback value. Once the offset has been entered, edit the values for drill angle, depth increment, and subdrill and tap Table. A table showing the calculated burden at depth will display with notes identifying critical points of the profile. Enter any additional notes needed by tapping in the box. Tap the back arrow to return to the Calculate Burden screen. Tap the plot icon to view the profile with the drill hole placed and the burden value shown. If an angled drill hole will be used, calculate the optimum angle by selecting Calculate Drill Hole. Enter a desired burden and tap the corresponding icon for an optimum value or a minimum value. The offset and drill angle calculations are displayed. Tap the table and plot icons to view the data. If your drills are restricted to fixed angle increments, select that Calculate option. In addition to your burden value, enter the increment and max value for your drills and tap the optimum or minimum icon. This will display the offset and drill angle information and the data can be viewed using the table and plot icons. 
When done with calculations, tap the camera icon to capture an image of the profile. To advance to the next profile, tap the plus sign icon. Choose whether to create a new profile for the current drill hole or to advance along the face to the next drill hole position. Continue shooting in and creating new profiles until all drill holes have been completed and the entire face has been measured. Use the left and right arrow icons to move between profiles and tap the back arrow in the upper left corner to return to the drill hole screen. If printouts are desired in the field, connect the printer to the device. Tap the Reports button, select the profiles needed, and tap Save As. Choose the report format, burden interval, and other parameters, and tap the Save and Print button. Select your printer and tap Print. If connected to a wireless network, tap the Save and Send button to email the files to a designated address. Report generation and additional design work can also be done on the Companion PC program. First, transfer the job files into the Face Profiler PC data folder. Start Face Profiler PC and select Open Existing Job. If no further design changes are necessary, tap the Reports icon and follow the same sequence as in the Android app to generate them. Printing can also be accomplished in the same way as before. All raw data measured with the laser and any design parameters entered in the field will be retained in the original data file. If changes to the design are needed, a new copy of the file will be created to preserve the original field measurements and calculations. Make adjustments on the profiles and calculate offsets as before. Be sure to save new report files and printouts to reflect the changes made. LTI's Face Profiler package offers a cost-effective field-to-finish solution for your 2D profiling and blast design.